Hi again. Good morning, guys. How you doing? All right. Uh, we got the metric system here, uh, which is known as Le Système International. And the French sneak in on us. Weren't we just talking about a Brit? Yeah, it had something to do with Napoleon, I think. Oh, uh, okay. He's, he's the dude who started uh, working on the, the organizing a metric system to make things easier. Are we like the only country that doesn't do the metric system? Uh, I think last time I checked, we're one of like five. Jeez. The other four are extremely tiny islands. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're the only major country that uh, All right. doesn't do the metric system. All right. SI for short sounds good. SI. Okay. So uh, we use, uh, in uh, the metric system, we use mass, length, time, and temperature, the kilogram, the meter, the second. So these are SI so, units, yep. yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Abbreviations, kilograms, meters, uh, Seconds and Kelvin. Yeah, I okay, think we, we talked about this earlier. Yeah, a little yeah. bit, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, repetitious, okay. but it's science, so. Well, they need to know the SI units yeah. anyway. Ooh, metrics. Okay, metric, metric prefixes. Metric prefixes. All right, guys, you want to press pause and you want to write all this down. The prefixes with stars are ones that Mrs. G and I decided are the important ones and you have to memorize. All right. Okay, Mrs. G, there's there's some sort of a rhyme to do this, right? But uh, yeah. I mean, if you if you don't know when the Illinois State Lottery calls you up and says, "Hey, you won the Mega Millions," if you don't know how much a mega is, you're probably not going to be as excited as you should be. Mega means a million. Right. So if they tell you you won the Mega Millions, they're literally telling you you won millions of millions. And if they don't give you millions of millions, you should sue for false advertising. There you go. So mega means a million, <coughs> kilo is a thousand. And okay, so mega power ten is ten to the sixth. Right. Thousand ten to the third. Right. So what are the base unit? What what units would you put in for the base? Like grams. So grams, the liter, yeah. Liters, okay. meters. Okay. So that's that's a base unit. Okay. So. Even These are prefixes. Though, These are things that go in front. So okay. this would be like mega grams. Okay, I got it. Or kilo grams. Or mega liters. Okay. That that's Kilo how they're going to sell the big Kilo gulp in New York from now on. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, mega liter. You'll, you'll end up in jail if you uh. buy one. All right. So going up from the base units, those are relatively big numbers. Yeah, ten to the third, ten to the sixth. They're bigger. Going down or smaller. Times. Yeah. Oh, these are all negative okay. exponents. Now I like to pronounce this. I don't. A lot of people say point one. I like to pronounce that a tenth. Okay, one tenth of a. Gram or right. liter, and this is one, one hundredth, hundredth of a gram or a liter, right. and, and you one can, one you, thousandth. Right, you can pronounce it that way, one one thousandth, because this is the tenths, hundredths. This is the thousandths. One more zero. So okay. technically speaking, the milli is kind of the mirror of the kilo, but in the smaller range. Exactly. Yeah, okay. milli and kilo are kind of and related. Okay. okay. And if you ever forget centi, you know what? You just don't know what your dollars and cents are. Well, a century is a hundred, right, so no. that cent would be one one hundredth. And a cent is a penny. How do you write a penny? Oh, that's right, a penny. Yeah. Okay. don't have many of those. Basically, though, a micro is a millionth. A nano is... Yeah. And a nano is a billionth. Yeah. And that's actually my salary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so metric prefixes. Okay, got it. So you got to. So what we've got to do is we got to memorize that mega, mega is a capital M, meaning the million, and its power of ten is ten to the sixth. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You want me to know the prefix, the symbol, and the meaning? Yeah. Holy mackerel! I'm transferring out of this class. All right, go for it. There's a guidance has a slips. <laughs> I'll sign off on it. Just make sure you bring it to me. Okay. Filled out. Will do. All right. Oh, this one looks ugly. Dimensional analysis, factor label, unit conversions. So it's got a couple of different acronyms, doesn't it? Yeah, different people call it different things, but it all boils down to the same thing. We're doing math. Math, okay. Math with, math with unit conversions. Math with ratios and, and units. Ah. It's actually not as hard as people try and make it out to be. Everyone gets all anxiety and caught up in it, and it's really pretty simple. Yeah, it is, as long as you follow the units and you write it right. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's not, it's not that hard. All right. All right, so uh, basic ideas for unit conversions, you copy the number in the units, you use different factors to cancel out units and generate new units, and you repeat that step as necessary until you get to the units you want. So you're going to use different factors, like you said, Mr. G. Factors. Okay. Okay. And you just do the math. So for instance, 
there's this problem up on the screen here. Okay, so 4.5 kilograms, that's what you start with, right? 4.5. So we're going to start with 4.5 4 kilograms. kilograms. And, and I want to convert to grams. Uh huh. And we're just going to use ratios to do that. Okay. And according to the metric prefixes, there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Right. And the way I like to try and look at it, the kilograms up here means that I want kilograms down here. Okay, so the bottom of the ratio will cancel the old units, right? Right. Okay. And I know the kilogram is the bigger between a gram and a kilogram. Uh -huh. I'm going to toss a one in there. Okay. And if I know my definition right, if I measured my, my, my metric yeah. prefixes, which hopefully I made flashcards on that, mm -hmm. uh, I've got a thousand grams for one kilogram. Okay. Notice this all by itself is a true statement. One kilogram is the same thing as a thousand grams. Okay. Okay, it's not actually a division bar. It's saying that these two things are equal to each other. Okay, so that means kilograms and kilograms are going to cancel because basically I've got something on top, something on the bottom. Okay. They cancel each other, right? Yeah, so grams you are left. Plunk that into your calculator, right? Now how yep. many six figs would you get? In I don't even need a calculator to do four and a half times a thousand. True. All right, I know that it's going to move the decimal three places to uh. the right, so it's going to be four, five, zero, zero. How many sig figs? That was the question, right? Yeah. Okay, well, this measurement here, four and a half kilograms, seems to have two sig figs, right? Uh huh. A thousand grams in a kilogram, that's a special case, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of those, uh, we called it earlier, yeah, you, you don't use it to determine the number of sig right. figs. So there's an infinite number of sig figs here. So I want to use the smallest number of sig figs, which yeah, is... Not the largest, it's still yeah. going to be 4.5. All right, two. How, yeah, and this... Uh, it is. Yeah. 4,500, these two digits are significant, so I'm good. Two are, all right, all right. Well, that's easy. Uh, 4,500 grams, and I've got units on and it. Got they, units. They're a little bit far away, yeah. but they're still there. Okay. That seemed easy enough. Very easy. Ooh, another one. So we start out with 0 0.851 grams. All right, so sure. start out with the number they give you in the problem. Now okay. we need a ratio that relates grams to milligrams, correct, Mr. Kane? Right, and I like how you said that. You put we, you, when you said that, the grams go on the bottom and the milligrams go on top. Okay, so which, if I remember right, which one's bigger, the grams or the milligrams? Grams are bigger. Yeah, yeah, grams are bigger. So there's going to be one gram, and how many millis does it take to make a full gram? Oh, and I memorized these before. What's, so a, what's a milli worth? Milli was one one thousand. So. So if I've got one one thousand, it would take nine hundred ninety nine more to make a full, right? That sounds reasonable. It takes a thousand <laughs> milligrams. Yeah. Is that how you memorized it? Yes. A thousand milligrams to make a gram? There are a thousand milligrams in a gram. That is correct. So grams cancel. I'm left with milligrams, so right. I must be done. Do the math. 0 0.85 times a thousand. Uh, that would be eight, five, one, zero, one, two, three. All right. Again, no calculator on this one. Wow. All right. You uh, are courageous, gotta, Mr. King. Got to sign me up for Harvard. Uh, let's see. How many sig figs do I have? Eight, five, and one is three sig figs. Uh, thousand milligrams to a gram, that's just a conversion factor, so it's got an infinite number of sig figs. Uh, so I need three in my answer, right? Correct. One, two, three. So I wrote this wrong because yep, that is actually a sig fig according to how I wrote it. So I'm going to have to rewrite this and then circle it so that when you grade this, Mrs. Goswish, you don't mark me wrong. So your answer cannot be more significant. And since it's multiplication and division, you're talking number of, correct? Right, you're talking number of. All Most right. of the time in chemistry, you we're dealing with yeah. number of, not place value. You don't include what's in the ratio because it's an infinite. It's great. Right. Mm -hmm. you, know, you just don't. Right. So your answer can't be more significant than the starting point with the problem. Okay, got it. Three sig figs, three sig figs. All right. So converting 23.2 kilograms to milligrams, I'm going to take 23.2 kilograms. Now wait a minute. I didn't see anything that went from kilograms that related kilograms directly to milligrams, Mr. Kane. Well, now what do we do? I think we can go straight to the base units okay. in between because I know how many kilograms there are in a... Actually, I know how many grams there are in a kilogram. There are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Yeah. Okay. So I can go to the base unit and then... Remember the step said the step three said do as much as necessary. 
Yeah, because so, that first ratio doesn't answer the question, does no, it? No, but it does get me out of kilograms. It gets me a little bit closer because I can go from grams to milligrams because I know how many milligrams are in one gram. Yep, 1,000. 1,000. So you have to do two ratios? So I have to do two ratios. I could do 100 ratios Ooh. if I had to. But the basic math here is 23.2 times 1,000 times 1,000. Holy mackerel. So we're going to get uh, 230000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so, Three. yeah, mm -hmm, that's it. Hey, can you Three. write that in the scientific notation, Mr. Kane? Sure I can, because uh, it's kind of it's wordy Big here, number, right? yeah. Uh, so so 2.32 times 10, let's see, that's 3, 6, 7, 7, 7, seven place seven values, milligrams. milligrams. 2.32 times 10 to the 7th milligrams. Notice three sig figs here, three sig figs there. Okay.